Your mother's still alive? Yes. Do you have a good relationship with your mom at this point? Yes. You do? Mm -hmm. Favorite Mother's Day memory, if you have one? Favorite Mother's Day memory? Yeah. Ooh, we didn't really do a lot on Mother's Day growing up. Okay. I mean, they create stuff for my mother. <laughs> you know, couldn't afford nothing for her, drew stuff for her. But we never really did anything special on Mother's Day, honestly, sadly. Ever made a song? Ever sang for her on Mother's Day or no? Uh, no. Now, what's one thing your mom did for you that you will never forget? What's one thing my mom did for you you will never forget? Could be a variety of things. What's right, one? What's right. one you could share with us? She gave me life, <laughs> for one. <laughs> but uh, I would say one thing, my mom, she, she has done a lot for me. I could say a lot right now. But I'd say the main thing, the most important thing, like she would put her kids first, you know, like we struggled growing up and she would she would make sure we would eat, she would go to bed hungry, you know, mm. stuff like that. I always remember that. Dealing with the struggle, what was the bottom point back then growing up? Oh, growing up, my mom and my dad, they were married. When they split up, we moved, that's when we moved to Tennessee. My mom and me, it was me, my mom, and my brother. We moved in with her mom. That didn't work out too well. Well, we all ended up, basically, we, we all kind of drifted off. My mom ended up living with her boyfriend. I ended up living, my brother ended up, he, you know, he got a girlfriend. He actually got, uh, he had a baby. So they kind of were living in their own, own apartment. I was just like living with her mother. So, well, I kind of, I didn't want to live with her mother anymore. So I moved in with my brother after him and his baby mom split. So it was just me and my brother. Well, my mom and my brothers, I mean, my mom and her boyfriend, they broke up. So she moved in with me and my brother. Well, my brother lost his job and he wasn't telling me that I'm working, but I'm also going to school. I can't pay the bills. So we, my mom, she moves in with us because she has nowhere else to go actually. And so he doesn't tell us that he's not paying the bills. He doesn't tell us that he's late on anything. So my mom comes in, she's like, I'm gonna take care of the bills. You know, I got, I got it, whatever. Well, uh, his apartment people, they knocked on the door and they were just like, y'all gotta get out today. We've been sending notices and all this and we didn't have nowhere to go. So it was me, my mom and my brother. We lived in a motel, saying like crackheads next door, shooting up all this and that. We lived in a hotel for like a, a year, a two years, a motel. My, mom, my mother and my brother lived in there for like two years. I actually, this was the time that I left with that my boyfriend at the time. I wanted to get out. It was a lot going on, so you see why I just wanted to leave. So you were homeless for about a year. Mm-hmm. Pretty tough. Mm hmm What about music? Did your mom ever do music herself? Uh, no. Actually, nobody in my family is <laughs> into music. Mm. My dad, like, I grew up, he loves music. I mean, it's not like he can sing or anything like uh. that, but... He listens to music 24-7, so I was always around him. So that's where I grown to love music. The singing, I just think that came natural. Mother supportive of the music career path? Yes, very supportive. Now, it's one thing for a parent to be supportive. It's another for a parent to like the music. Yeah, she, she loves my music. She lo every time she hears a new song, she cries. Oh, literally? Mm-hmm. She, she's emotional. She is uh. emotional. She cries about everything. She cries if I tell her about a show. 